What's going on, Jerome's? The second injury report for Viking Saints uh, came out today. But, man, uh, we're just watching Thursday Night Football. The, the Tua injury is just just sad, man. Pr prayers up for Tua. Just How the hell did he get cleared? But. All right. Uh, so Vikings uh, had a normal practice on Thursday. Uh, they departed uh, Minneapolis-St. Paul Airport around 7 p.m., uh, headed over to London. Uh, They're going to land uh, at some point Friday morning uh, in uh, in the U.K. Saints are already over there. Uh, Saints had a full practice. Jameis Winston, Michael Thomas, DNP'd yet again. Uh, and it's interesting because Jameis and head coach Dennis Allen said that Jameis likely was going to practice on Thursday, but the fact that he didn't, a little bit of cause for pause. We'll, we'll see what happens on Friday. That is the key day. Uh, even if a guy like Michael Thomas doesn't practice on Friday or if he's limited, I think that you could see him on Sunday. Uh, really important to note that Ramchek, uh, Jarvis Landry, and Andres Pete uh, both moved to limited on Thursday. Pete could uh, clear concussion protocol to play on Sunday, which would be yum yum. Jarvis Landry uh, should be fine, should be out there on Sunday. Uh, Ramchek. Uh, now, it was listed as rest, uh, but he was on the injury report last week as well, uh, so that's something to be monitoring even though the pride of Winona State and then stupid Badger uh, is going to be out there maybe he won't be a hundred percent and then also uh, Paulson Adebo uh, the cornerback out of Stanford as well as Kamara uh, Deontay Hardy uh, the speedster uh, all limited same thing with Taysom Hill even though you will see some of him uh, potentially a backup quarterback or as you know gadget wildcat quarterback since the Vikings uh, they, they've always seemed to struggle with Taysom Hill I don't know what it is. Also, the stud safety, Marcus May, uh, limited for the second practice in a row. Vikings uh, side, so some really promising news. So, Zadarius Smith, uh, un not great news, but uh, the fact that he is on the flight, that he made the trip, Kevin O'Connell had mentioned uh, that there is a plan in place for Zadarius to get treatment during the flight as well as Friday, Saturday. Uh, so there is uh, a chance that Zadarius could be out there. Uh, he has been the straw that's been stirring the Vikings uh, past rushing drink, 12 pressures leading the team, as well as two sacks. Andrew Boo Jr., the rookie second-round cornerback, DNP, yeah, again, yeah. I don't think he's going to play. Uh, and then, uh, but good news, Dalvin Cook went from DNP on Wednesday to full participant on Thursday, uh, put on the harness on that shoulder. And remember, he did that last season and then ran for 205 and two touchdowns against the Steelers on Thursday Night Football. Same injury. And then C.J. Ham. DNP'd uh, with a foot injury on Wednesday, uh, back to full on Thursday. So that is fantastic. But uh, Friday is the big day, uh, both for the Saints, who have uh, a myriad of injuries, uh, but notably Winston and Michael Thomas. Kind of important when your quarterback and wide receiver one are DNP'd heading into Friday, but we'll see what happens there. Uh, Vikings-wise, I... <sighs> You know, Booth is probably going to be out. I would say that Zadarius is probably going to play, maybe in a limited capacity, maybe on a pitch count, uh, but that means an opportunity for guys like DJ Wanham, Patrick Jones second, even Luigi Villain uh, getting in there as well. But uh, that's it. Let's take a look at the Vikings Saints Thursday injury report. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once to put the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.